how to create a free e-commerce website using Square. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use the Square platform to create your free e-commerce website. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to squareup.com. Now this is their official website and over here, all you have to do is simply sign up. Now you can sign up by clicking on the get started button over here at the middle right. And over here, you just simply have to enter in your email address, your password, you have to confirm your email address, then enter in your country and then clear the recaptcha and then just simply check this box to agree to their terms and conditions and then you have to click on continue and that way you'll have signed up so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and once you have signed up they are going to ask you a couple of questions such as what type of business is it and in which category does your business fall into and do you accept credit or debit and what is your business name and some other basic details that you have to enter so i'm gonna go ahead and do this and then i will see you at the dashboard so once you've finished adding all the details this is how your dashboard is going to look like now as you can see i've logged into my previous account i just wanted to show you guys how you can basically do all that stuff over here you will have to do a couple of things before you get to the e-commerce website so if we scroll down below we will see that we have the setup guide now we have to complete the setup guide to a 100 percent and then we will get an online option over here and if we click on that option we will be redirected to their store where they will show us how we can build our website and stuff like that so how do you get this setup guide to 100%? So you can simply do that by clicking on the setup guide and doing a couple of things. So if I click on it over here, as you can see, I've already done these two parts over here and I'm gonna show you what they were. And then we have this part over here. This is the end part that is going to make up for the rest of the percentage that is left. So the first thing that I did was I added an item and you can create an item by coming over here on the left side and at the bottom over here, you will see the option of items. When you click on items it is going to redirect you to this place over here where you can create different items so over here as you can see we already have some suggestions over here we can simply add those items but if you don't want to add those items you can just simply create a new item and as you can see i've already created a chocolate cake and i'm going to create another item just to show you guys how it was done so i'm going to go ahead and click on create an item and once i do that over here you just simply have to enter in the name of the item the category it falls into enter a description of the item and describe little features such as its measurements, its taste, its variation, and stuff like that. And then you can add the location. Then you will need to add the SKU. It is optional, you don't have to do it. Then you have to enter in the unit and then price. You can also enter in stocks. You can also add in different variations such as if you have a special version of that product or a special holiday product that you sell on a certain holiday. And then you have modifier set where you can customize modifier set. Basically, if you someone wants to have that set or a specific version about that product, you can just simply add them. And then you have custom attributes. You don't really need to go get into that detail, but I'm sure once you start to create an account and get into the business, you'll probably understand why. And only then you will need to add custom attributes but until then just for the sake of this video we're going to keep it simple with the basics so just enter in the name of the item and you also have to enter in the image of that item as well so simply click on edit and over here just simply add an image you have to upload the image of that product if you already have one or you can get an image of that product from the internet as well and once you have added all the necessary requirements just simply click on save and your item will be created as i have shown you over here this chocolate cake that i created and then you have modifiers as i said before over here you can add in different modifiers this process is exactly the same click on create a modifier add in all the details that it's asking for then simply click on save and your modifiers will be done same goes for categories as well as you can see i've added the category of bakery which means that all the bakery items that i add on into my inventory they will be set to this category and as i said the process is exactly the same answer all the questions and enter in all the details that the form asks you for and then just simply click on the save button 
then you have discounts where you can create discounts for a specific time of the year such as holidays or you can add a promo code or discount codes and then you can distribute them some of your loyal customers or the first three customers or 10 customers or how many customers you want and then just spread them out and give those customers a special discount then you have sale taxes and then you have options now in options you can create variations of the size and weight about that product so i added a small a large and a medium sized cake as well then you have units where you can add in the unit of that product such as pounds and then you have settings where you can add dining options basically if you have a restaurant or a place where you can set up a dining option you can just simply set that up and then at the bottom you have inventory where you can add and adjust your inventories so once that's done just simply click on these three bars at the top corner over here and then click on home and the next thing that you have to do is you have to have customers if you want to sell items you need customers so to add customers simply come over here and click on customers and i've already added one so i'm going to show you how it's basically done now if you already have a list of customers or an scv or a file that is saved on your computer phone or laptop or whichever device you're using just simply click on import customers and then select that file and all those customers will be imported onto this website but if you don't have one and you want to create one just simply click on create customer and then this form will pop up and over here just simply enter in the first and the last name the numbers the city the email address the rest of the stuff is optional you don't have to enter that but if you want to keep things organized and you want to have all the details of your customers then go ahead and do that but once you've entered in the main details such as its first name last name the phone number or email address then just simply click on the save button and then your customer will be added now once you do these things your score will go up and once it's reached 100 you will have the option of online over here and it will say online and once you click on it it will take you to this page over here now unfortunately i can't complete this 100 big percent because it asks for way too many details and you must be wondering why square does that well that is because square doesn't want just anyone to come over to their platform and then create a site and then ditch it they want to have serious customers and people that really really want to create a store online with them only those people are applicable to this option that is why they added that percentage system where it will help them monitor all the people that come over to their websites to create their own e-commerce store so I'm going to show you how you can do that from this image over here so as you can see over here this person has created a very very nice looking web store so he added his name at the top over here as you can see this is the header option if you click on it you can add in this option over here such as his name the menu about order online and then the card option and then down below he has the main banner where he clicked on it and choose the main banner and then you have featured items and where you can add these items over here as you can see and then he added their mission location hours contact us instagram feed and footer and stuff like that basically you can add more sections but i think this is the basic ones plus a very professional looking e-commerce website so i think these options are going to be enough and once you do that they also provide a instagram integration to your store that will help you gain traffic from instagram as well so as we can see over here in this image and they also provide appointments and other services such as this person over here her business is about hair salon and stuff like that so they can add in those details as well and down below we have some customer reviews so this person over here who's the co-owner of mark and vinnie's his name vince pizinga i don't want to mispronounce that name so i'm sorry if i butchered it but he says that Square Online gives us a lifeline so cash flow doesn't halt completely during this time. And by this time, he's referring to the pandemic. And this person over here, whose name is Alvin Harutunian, who is the operations manager who is at High Low Liquor Market. And he says that exceeding our retail businesses to online sales was quick and easy with Square Online. So as you can see, it is pretty amazing. And these people have given their reviews as well. And then down below, you can just simply start for free online. But per a delivery order, they will charge you half a dollar. And then per transaction, they will take 2.9% of the transaction plus 30 cents above it. So let's just go ahead and compare plans since we're already here. So they have four plans available. We have the free plan. We have the professional plan 
plan and we have the performance plan and then finally we have the premium plan and then in the free plan everything you need to start selling online is basically all the basic things that you need so they gave automatic inventory order and item sync with square pos offer pickup delivery or shipping and Instagram integration as well. So I think the free version is pretty good, but I think if you want to keep it professional and you are seriously pursuing your dream as an online e-commerce web store, then I think the performance option will be the best for you because it provides you with post customer reviews right on your site, fulfill orders and save them with discounted shipping labels and recover lost sales with abandoned cart emails. Plus on top of that, you get all the other features of the previous plans as well but you have to pay $26 per month which is billed annually and the per transaction fee is the same as the previous two plans which is 2.9% plus 30 cents but if you choose the final and the premium version which is $72 a month but their per transaction rate is lower at 2.6% so depending upon your need choose your plan carefully to start your online e-commerce store with Square Online so having said that if you have any other questions about this video please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to answer them truthfully and as soon as i can and having said that if you guys did enjoy this video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification guys because that way you won't miss out on any videos that we post on this channel and we post daily videos guys and as you can see we post mostly about stores and websites that can help you grow your business or that can help you launch your business as well so be sure to stay in tune with that and do not miss future videos that we are planning to do on this channel and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye